everybody. Welcome to this popper video. Uh, it's number two in our series. I don't know how many we're going to get to film today, but we're up to two. So this one we're going to go ahead and go through setup and everything because Jason has a uh, plus four and I have a plus three. Um, and this is Daniel. I have a plus three with my team. So it's going to roll off because it is relevant to the matchup. All right, there's a four. Yep. Yep. And there's, oh, man. So I, well, the reason it's relevant, I am, I am playing Juggernaut, uh, Danger Room Magneto, Amelia Vought, and um, so mm -hmm. the map bonus. Um, I think you got any. And, uh, but I think, I think I'll just forgo the map bonus and uh, go to the Rock Underground so that there's lots of blocking. Yeah, Juggernaut's going to be a bitch. Yeah, so let's get this map in frame. So y'all can see some awesome action. Better put that ring in a good place. <laughs> the ring is relevant to placement. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Ring in a grand entrance too. Mm -hmm. So yep, that looks pretty good. Go ahead and get set up. I'm gonna get set up. I think mine's pretty straightforward. I do need to get some uh, heavies out for this team. Ooh. I think. <clears throat> Um, uh, let's see, so I would have, with this team, three heavy objects. So... The ring is just slightly larger than it needs to be. The ring is just slightly larger than it needs to be? Yeah, it's square, it's just a little bit bigger than the map squares. Oh man. <laughs> So, yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, let me know when you're when you're ready. Of course, Amelia Vought is going to choose the Juggernaut for the uh, Mutant Messiah trait. So, at the beginning of the game, for all characters of this trait, choose a friendly character with Acolyte or Brotherhood of Mutants keyword. That character can use Mastermind, but only to choose characters with this trait. So, uh, Mr. Jugs is going to have... Mastermind, but only to target Miss Amelia. So, let's start us a timer. Let me know when you're ready, Jason. I'm good. All right, let's rock and roll. Juggernaut in the Brotherhood versus WWE. So I got a bunch of uh, hindering terrain markers, so hopefully it's enough. I doubt it'll be enough, but we'll see. We brought a dice. Just one. Just one. Just one dice. Actually, give me two. You need us tuning up the band tokens yeah. as well. Um, so let's see. Juggernauts, I'm going to go um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, and then he'll break blocking one, two, three, four, and go to there. So he'll take a token, remove a token. Um, and then let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Magneto carries Amelia Vot. Amelia Vot will perplex up the Juggernaut's defense. Um, and the Juggernaut, for just poops and giggles, did pick up this heavy along the way. Um, huh? Need a lighter heavy. I don't have any heavies left. So that's all on you, Jason. Okay. <laughs> So Jason, you're playing John Cena, Sweet Chin Music, Shawn Michaels, Eddie Guerrero, yep. and Finn Balor. So I gotta watch out for that uh, coup de gras on the Juggernaut. Okay. Okay. I mean, I got three D. The Juggernaut only has to destroy three squares of blocking, so that's relevant. <laughs> so Jason, you're doing your grand entrance, grand entrance right, right now. Yeah. All kinds of crazy music playing in your head. Okay. 
Yep. Yeah. Um, and we'll use a perplex on Shawn Michaels to uh, raise his defense by one. Actually, we'll raise Finn Balor's defense by one. Raise Finn Balor's defense by one. Yeah. Um, that was all free. Yep. And we'll go ahead and give Finn a token move and pick up this light object <laughs> move back into the corner. Okay. We could have picked up the object on his grand entrance. <clears throat> yeah, but I want to get a token for doing that. Oh, okay. Uh, I think I'm ready. All right. Um. So what does Finn Balor have? Just toughness? Just toughness on top. Just toughness. So I think we'll go, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to have to perplex up movement. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to have to move Amelia and Magneto first. Uh, let's see. So I can charge one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, I can just go over here because it doesn't matter about uh, enter the ring or out of the ring. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I can move. Amelia to here, and I can have one theme team prob on it. I'll be a 13 attack on your 18, and then I can go, let's see, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. Like, I don't even think I'm worried about taking a token off on this one. I'm pretty sure just hitting Eddie or hitting Finn for seven would be pretty good. Um, and then I want to attack him in a square to where he can get knocked. Well, he has charge, so no knockback. <coughs> so Amelia will perplex up uh, attack on the Juggernaut. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, perplex up attack. And move Magneto. So we can have one theme team prob on it. Just there. Actually, we'll have just the one. We'll carry Amelia Vaught. <clears throat> 13 attack. We'll charge. One, two, three, four, five, six. Punching. Um, ben Balor with the heavy. I'll be a 13 on your 17. Um, I did destroy the blocking there and there. Um, all right. Hey, roll five. There's five. Uh, we'll use uh, Eddie's life cheating still power to make three roll a six. We roll the six. So one, two's bad. Three up's good. That's bad. We'll use a theme team prob with Amelia Vaught. We'll roll a five. There's another eight. Um, let's uh, just theme team problem. We don't want to give it to uh, Finn Balor, right? I can't, what other choice do I have? If he's a giant, you can see him. Oh, that's right, I do. So yeah. John Cena will take it then. Yeah, because you want to try to use the coup de gras on yeah. him, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, there's another five. Mm -hmm. And Sean, I guess. Sean's got one to know the band token, by the way. Yeah. So we'll try to roll a five. There's a five right on the nose. Yeah, there's nothing to do about it, really. Yeah, you I mean, if you, want to, if you want to use the coup de gras, then no, yeah. there's not much you can do about it. Yeah, so. He's going to take how much? Uh, seven, so he'll take six. Okay. Um, and. Then um, that is all I got. Okay. Alrighty, I mean, you can still crew to Grommy. It's nine on a eighteen. Oh, you didn't use your uh, Finn okay. Balor ring. Oh, it's a close oh, attack. It's a close yeah. attack. Yeah, it doesn't work on a ring. Yeah, he could still do it. He can do it. He can get like an 11 attack, 13, 12 attack, really. Yeah. And do it. Mm -hmm. um, 
if I want. Because I can use Flying Leap. I'll get plus one, plus one, and I got two perplexes. Well, he's got Nimble right now. Or is it Coup de Gras? Coup de Gras is, is traded. Flying Leap, mm -hmm. yeah. Nimble. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, let's go ahead and perplex up his attack by one with Shawn Michaels. Okay, so it'll be a 10. It'll be a 10, and perplex up his attack as himself by one, so it's an 11. And then he'll get plus one from Flying Leap. Attack and damage with adjacent two plus ropes. Okay, so what's his attack for me? 12 or 3. Okay. Right here. Okay. Actually, just before we do that, yeah, let's just nimble Sean over here one. Okay, so 12 on 18. Yep. Yeah. Alright, for 3. For 3. And that's going to shut off my in defense power. Mm -hmm. so. And he has not back. That's irrelevant against Juggernaut. I have a giant one, two, three. Okay. And second token for him. Okay. And then Cena. Charge. Juggernaut. Okay. Give me 11 on an 18. Uh -huh. That's a misses. Six misses by one. You want to lie, cheat, and steal? No, actually, I'm just going to do a prob here. Team Team Prob with Eddie. Team Team Prob with Eddie. Yeah. Down to one left. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll use one of my theme team probs. Ugh, <clears throat> uh, this. this. Sean. Sean can take the theme team prob. Sean can take the last theme team prob. Okay. Um, a big one. Uh, Amelia Vought will take a theme team pro. He's not going to move anywhere though. We're one and one there. There it is. For a three? It's going to be for three, but like he's using a close action to use his STF move. If he has one action token, make a close attack, hit the characters, gain a mobile to your next turn, and for each five or six in the attack roll, I choose one and modify damage. Oh, or if they hit character action token, I'm going to modify yeah. damage plus one, so three for four. And I don't have any defense back. No, you have no defense. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then Mr. Guerrero now has one token. He can use the three amigos. Okay. So he's uh, going to be an 11 attack. I totally misread Amelia Vox's power, so this does not work. And that's a miss. It's a miss on the first attack. Yep. Second attack. Shit. Here. Miss again. Two threes in a row. That worked out real good. And there's a hit for three. three. Alright, that KOs him. So let's reset and let's try that again. Okay. Just be what? Within two <laughs> no, I needed to be adjacent. What I needed to do was I needed to be adjacent to Amelia Vot, which I didn't do, which I could have done. So let's try that again. We'll just set up the way we were. Because not everybody's going to be as terrible as playing Juggernaut as I just was just then. That's fine. Let's see, how long did that take us? Dave just super sent out of six damage. Eddie Guerrero. That's, that took us about uh, 13 minutes or so. So. So, to use an object, you have to use a close to use the object, right? Right, yeah, you can't combo that with their signature moves. So I think we'll just do the same thing here. I'll right, go ahead and reset up your guys. I like the theme team props for giving them the tokens to yeah, that is nice. do their signature moves. So, alright, go ahead and set your guys back up. And your objects. 
All right, you want to try your ring somewhere else? I'm thinking of mine. On the fan? Yep. Okay. The thing is, I don't, I don't know that it really matters. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Juggernaut pretty much goes where he wants to. Because I'm the Juggernaut. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, Okay. Alright, so let's try a little bit different approach, I think. I need to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, let's so let's perplex up Juggernaut's movement, and then let's go through all of these squares. Okay. And then we'll go there, there, there. And there, Where? and then we'll fly here and here. Well, she have to be adjacent to her to give her the token to take the unavoidable. Or yeah, you give yourself a token, take the unavoidable. Yeah, or? I got to give him two tokens, and then place adjacent. So I need to make sure I can be able to do that. Let me see her card. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got to be able to place adjacent. If I can do that. Um, I go here That's and all I can do. here. <laughs> I think I'm going to ask for that turn. Here's our card. me. Okay, we're not going to move up Cannot get hit with the crew de gras. No, that's why you get. That's why you want to on your team. Yeah, I need to have one more, one more little uh, oomph of attack there. One more, one more thing of damage, I guess. Too bad he doesn't have giant reach three. Perplex from Sean on to Finn. Yeah. And Sean Rimble. Over Sean gets a token. Yep. Okay, I guess I'm good. Let me see uh, Finn's card. <laughs> the back of it. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Um. All right, my go. I think I want to go ahead because now I should be able to go. I mean, really, should I should have probably just tried to kill like Neely's boy? Like, right? <laughs> you can still. I mean, you can charge her, right? I could have just moved on up. Like, I could have like seen to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then goes one, two, three, or something. He tries to kill her. Yeah. I don't know how many clicks she's got. I don't know. You can look at the back of Let her card now. Let me see the back of her card. Yeah. yeah. She's got a bunch, actually, for 45 she's points. She's got five. So we got and super senses. And super senses, yeah. So let's say I just moved him up. Right. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, let's see. I can just burn the whole game over, right? <laughs> Guerrero needs to be, like, somewhere I can prob. Plucks him up to a four damage, and he picks up the chair. Right. Sure. Okay. All right. So that was grand entrance, and then seeing as this goes one, two, three, four. You can use the chair flying leap. No. Object. 
charges her with a chair you and can't. four damage. Yeah. Okay. He's roll yeah, six. Yep. And he doesn't. So yeah. Eddie's gonna prob <laughs> it. Just regular prob it. I've watched yeah. <laughs> and he got it. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay. Or can she do that to you? Yeah, she can well, do that to no Even doing that then. <laughs> well, I might sense out of it. It says when I would take the. Damage. I know, but she can just put. The, she can just take the one and avoid it. No point even doing that. All right, so she'll take the two, <laughs> the two tokens and the avoid. Yeah, there's no point of even charging her then. I'm gonna immediately avoid. Yeah. Yeah. No point of doing that even against her then. But now you have combat reflexes and a super senses and <laughs> toughness right in front of me. True. So it's a little bit more annoying. Yeah. Alright, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to perplex up Sean. Let's sidestep all over Sean. Mm -hmm. um, he's going to switch in music, which lets him yeah, have to speak about perplex it. there, so I guess. One, two, three. That's all I got, I guess, right now. Try to kick the okay. in the face. The seven kill Sean so, Michaels. Uh, yes. Seven would kill Sean Michaels. That seems exciting. That seems doable. I have a 13 attack. He's got a 19 though. So I gotta roll six this time. A bunch. More times. Uh, Eddie's got his thing. Finn's got his thing. But. I think I'm going to have to. I mean, I can get in there. You're, you can't get uh, Finn that close to me this turn, this upcoming turn, with tokens. Because he's got one, yeah. two, three, four, five, six. He can't prob me because Juggernaut would be close. So Cena's got Let's, uh, nimble close combat or combat yeah. reflexes and super senses and toughness, right? <clears throat> right. Well, let's just see if you roll out, I guess. Let's just go charge one, two, three, four. Let's try to set up right away, Sean. To there, perplexing up attack. So 13 on your 19 using the heavy. One action. Okay. Actually, I need to get. I really need to get a mag. Oh, that breaks. Duh. That's why mag is going to be able to do it. He's got a token. John Cena does. Okay. Let's go. Six one, hits. Two. Oh, he took he got a token on each other. Yeah, he's got a token. Trying to attack Johnny Girl. Eleven on eighteen. <coughs> I think you're outside one, yeah, right? One, two, three, three four, four, five, five six. six. Yeah, Eddie's here, right? Eddie's right. Here. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. six. So you gonna team team problem me with Cena? It's throwing me off a little bit. Yeah, you need to use the mats that we have. Yeah, because it's just a little bit bigger than the actual square. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's great. Yeah, we'll try. Okay. There's a seven. Okay, so we'll try super here. Yep. And he don't. They ain't roll super all day. They ain't roll super all day. So I'll take a six after the toughness, right? Mm -hmm. And I blew up more than three blocking, so I don't take. An action token for that move. Sorry, Johnny. Is he back on a blue click? Yep. Oh, Magneto. Can why, ask you a question over why can't Magneto do what you need to do? Um, yes. Yeah. What do you need? So, when Medusa, if she sidesteps away from her hair, the hair goes away. Can she make a new hair? Yep. If she hasn't made one that turn. Yep. So, if I sidestep, that goes away. I make a new one that's next to her. Yeah. Did that one just take an action? No, no but she's got, probably going to push it to death. Push it to death to make, make an make attack. Move. Push it to death to make an attack, and okay. then make another one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's that's the move. Yeah. All right. Because they're all sure. autonomous. Okay. Sam's practicing Avengers for those that are watching on the video. Um. So I think you're up, Jason. Okay. So I think the or, uh, the idea uh, is don't be or, bad uh, when you play. So, uh, well, there was no point in charging Amelia. Try to hit my man. Or 
Well, if you hadn't charged Amelia, I mean, I, w I rolled the seven to be able to hit Shawn Michaels. Well, it's fine, but you then you would have coup de grace me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And maybe killed you. Well, let's play it out. I think you won already at this point, <laughs> probably. Well, yeah, let's just play it out for the um, for the fans, Jason. Okay. I'll perplex up Sean's defense plus one, and then I'll just uh, clear. I guess I should like, give him a token. Okay. Um. So. He's on those silly blue clicks. Like, Magneto's a really good ranged attacker. Mm -hmm. Like, come on now. I need to be able to range you. Um, yeah. yeah. All right, we're all on these being All right, so let's see. If I go one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm short one. Um, what do you need to hit him? I think uh, Amelia. We'll, we'll start out with her. We'll just go nine on your 17 for one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Cena. Yeah. Um, and he still got two. I don't know why I took it off. You cleared that turn. That is right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, nine on a seventeen that misses by one. Oops, that's okay. Sean's got two. two. Okay. Let's so if we go, does six kill Sean Michaels or does it take seven? Take seven. It takes seven. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. So I don't have my heavy in range, but I do have a light there. So 11 on. So that becomes eight. I think I just keep the pressure up with here and just charge. One, two, three, four, five, six. So. Destroy there, destroy there, destroy there, and then I'll pick up the heavy and not use it on Cena. Mm -hmm. 12 on a 17. Okay, that'll hit him. Um, so I didn't take a token for that. So let's go ahead with Amelia. Um, and, or with Mags. And then let's fly over here carrying Amelia. All your go. It's just tough. Either like, either they go to, either they go eight because he can go eight in this right situation, right? And he just one shots Finn, or he. I don't know. That's a hard matchup for them. Yeah, I think it would be. But now you just run. Well, I wouldn't. Yeah, I could just run. But I don't see any reason to do that. Plus, that doesn't look good for the video that we're going to have on YouTube here, Jason. <laughs> they want to see the fate of the WWE clicks. Now, these two are not broken, right? Those two are not broken, yeah. I broke all of them back here. Yeah, you're just going to have to get into a position where you can try to coup de grace. Five here. Yeah, well, you're just going to want to carry that in probably. Yeah, I mean, there's just no way to get, like, a TK on this team. Um, clear shot. Because there's just no popper TK. There he is, but not on the theme with them. Right. Yeah, that's what I mean. There's no popper. Yeah, you, you want the theme probably. Mm -hmm. Tuning up the band team. Yeah. Uh, I already had two. So now you've got, now you'll have three at this turn. Three. Yeah. That's definitely. I can't set them on that. Okay. So tokens on Finn and Eddie. Four. Okay. Okay. Sorry. 
sorry. You're fine. Um, all right. Well, there's no leadership to happen. Um, so I think if I go charge one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, perplex up damage. No. On the juggernaut. Charge six, breaking these three. I'm just letting you practice. End up right where I'm at. Uh, 12 on your 18. That hits. Okay. Uh, lie, cheat, and steal me. Reroll them both or all of them? The lie, cheat, and steal your four. All right. Lie, cheat, and steal. All right. So that prob is gone. I'll go ahead and give a theme team prob to Amelia, and she'll push after resolutions. What's how many have you used now? I've used uh, none. None? Yeah. That was my first one of three. All right, there's an eight. Okay. Shawn Michaels going to theme team prob me? Yes, he will. All right, Shawn Michaels coming in with the theme team prob. Twelve and a five. <laughs> Twelve and a five is missed by one. I'll go use my second theme team prob on Magneto. Six in the eight, right off the edge, almost off the edge of a table. That was stopped by the bag. Oh, I strategically had that bag placed right there. What a bunch of junk. So if you think Team Prob with Finn, you can't coup de gras me. No, but you're gonna kill him if I don't. That's right. So you're gonna have to think Team Prob me, I guess. Because you got eight damage, right? Yes. Yeah. So I don't have a choice. So you just win the game right here, basically. Yeah, I would say so, so. There's a six, right on the nose. All right, we'll call, it. call it there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think that 300 jugs, 300 jugs probably just loses. Because he can't theme team prob out of everything. He can't theme team prob and to get his hits, right? So, and he can't get to eight damage on Finn. Yeah. But, like a Brotherhood team here, like... I think at some point you have to get close enough to where you can do something, but if you can't get close enough, then well, you can't move out and try to hit me because she won't die. She just takes it. Right, and then I think the other thing is that I was charging, but I can't use a heavy in the object, but I could also single target Quake fan. Um, and maybe the five point last five points is not good to use the mat bonus. But you had a plus four, I had a plus three. Yeah. So I won uh, math for this one. Maybe if I don't have the tokens taken off, it's not that big a deal, but I would have only, I wouldn't have taken any, I would, that would have been my first colossal push. Because mm -hmm. I'd have been, well, no, I would have colossal pushed. I would have had to clear if we were on like a clear map. But no, I think this is fine, right? This is yeah, a straightforward team. I mean, even the first time, Finn was on his very last yeah. click when he hit you with Coup de Gras. Right. So it doesn't matter as long as you can hit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But here's what I think, right? Like, I mean, like, no, this, no, is, no, fine. No, no. this is, is fine. This is fine, right? This is a solid team. Right? There's nothing wrong with that. That's solid. You can use a map bonus. You can use a terrain. You can use whatever you want, right? Right. Uh, my last five points, and I think that this team demonstrates the heart of Popper, really. Yep. It's successful. It's versatile. There's nothing wrong with it. But if you like what you see here, uh, please consider supporting the channel at uh, patreon.com forward slash clickstuff. And thanks for watching.